guys, it's Ashley. We are getting my 2021 fitness planner all set up, ready to go. I'm excited for this. I have some fun ideas uh, for this planner and I have some pages that I created, all sorts of different things. And yeah, we're just gonna get this thing all set up and ready to go. So um, I have, this right here is my current planner. And inside of this planner, hold on here, I can move some stuff. But inside of this planner, I have my current health and fitness planner that I'm using. Now, I actually create boho spreads, so I create these ones myself. I love sitting down and doing this, and I will continue this process for 2021. I also have habit trackers in there and stuff, so I will be continuing on with the boho stuff, but I also have the wellness planner and I plan on using the wellness planner for weeks that I'm really busy and I don't have time to sit down and create boho spreads so we are going to be creating a kind of custom Frankenplanned planner for health and fitness so what I have over here is one of the deluxe covers from the happy planner this is the quilted pattern one it's really thick really durable and I already put it on a set of rose gold Actually, these are more champagne, like champagne colored metal discs. And that's what my fitness planner is going to stay in. So we are going to start by looking at my pre-planning sheet. So this is the page that I created whenever I was deciding which planners I was gonna use for 2021. And this one here tells me my wellness and fitness. And I also have what sections I need inside of this planner. So I will be looking at that as we get this thing set up. So the first thing we are gonna add in here is going to be this little goals vision board thing that I have in the front of this planner. I put this in there when the Wild Style collection came out from the Happy Planner. So this is from the Wild Style companion pack and I've kind of been hoarding this thing. This is an old habit tracker that we don't need anymore. But I've been hoarding this thing because I loved it so much and I didn't want to use it. But 2021, we're using this and I'm going to set three big goals for health and fitness. So I have that there. And then I took a wrong, wrong companion pack and I attached it to this one. So these are two pages stuck together. And so that's the first thing that's going to go inside of my fitness planner. Actually, let's do it this way. We're gonna flip these over over here. And then from there, I'm going to add in this. This is a vision board that I created a long time ago and I wanna put it back into my fitness planner. I love this one. And I'm actually gonna stick this one up front. So it's gonna go in front of the goal section. And then from there, I'm going to put in my weight tracker, my January habit tracker, and then February habit tracker. I'm gonna go ahead and stick those up front. They're not gonna stay up front. I'll probably put those in with each week like I do here. So here I have a workout tracker and then I also have my current habit tracker that I'm using. And I'll do that same thing with those ones. But for now, we're just gonna stick them up front. And then from there, I am gonna go ahead and add December to this because I wanna go ahead and move into that planner. I'm use that divider. We need those sheets. So then that'll go there. And that is out of this one and this one is finished. So we don't need it anymore. And now we will go ahead and start adding everything into the cover and the rings. Right, now that those are in there I'm going to take January oh you know what I didn't think about a name page oh goodness you guys I think I'll just use this one that's here 
yeah, we're just going to use this one. So we need just the name page. The name page will go up front. I never use these year at a glance sheets, so I'm not really worried about those. I will take this one in so I have the currently page. I normally don't use the currently pages inside of my planner, but I might try to in my wellness planner to set my goals up for the month. So I'm going to go ahead and take January, February, and March from the wellness planner and put it inside of here. And then from there, I will add in some different um, dot grid paper. So if I do want to make my own custom spreads, I have that in there. And then what I like to do inside of a planner whenever I'm Franken planning and I take pages out is I just take a regular sticky note and I stick it on where I'm at. So then that way whenever I start to put pages from, whoops, from my planner back into here and start taking more months out, it's easier to find it. So there's that. And then I have a wellness accessory pack from the Happy Planner and we're gonna add it to there as well. We're gonna start with the folder. The folder is gonna be in the back. And then these sheets, I'm gonna put right in front of it. And then I also have this Happy Notes. And inside of this one, I have plain dot grid paper that I use. And then I also have some paper in here from another Happy Notes that I just stuck inside of here. So I am going to use the dot grid paper in here. And this is what I use to create my boho spreads on. But I also want a divider. And I think it was this one I was going to use. Is that right? Yes. So I'm going to use one of these dividers. And this divider is going to be... Okay, that's not working. <laughs> there we go. Okay, sorry. This divider is going to be what separates my planner from the boho sheets so I can get to those a lot easier. So we're going to put this one here. And then I will take the dot grid paper. That's what I meant to say earlier when I said the boho sheets, I meant to say the dot grid paper. That way if I wanna use it, I can easily access it. So we're just gonna stick maybe a few more inside of there. And then in between where the dot grid paper is and back here, I wanna have that as a mill planning section. And I have, this is a, a paper pad from the Happy Planner and this is perfect for meal planning because you can put like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then you can also make a grocery list over here or like a meal prep list. And then there's also the back of it. So you can use that for, you know, another, if you need more room for a grocery list or like what you're gonna meal prep and stuff like that. So we are gonna add one, two, three, four, five. Let's do six of them. Uh, I didn't think that would work. Six will not come off. And then these pages here that came out of that accessory pack, I can use these for journaling. I can use these for meal planning if I don't want to use these one week. Um, but I'll have these in here on hand for whatever I need those to be. And then I'm going to take, okay, I have a few dividers here. And this one, let me see. I think I'm gonna need one more divider. Okay, let me grab another divider real quick. All right, this one here, we're gonna put here for the meal plan. Actually, before I pop that in there, I have these clear label stickers that I picked up from Amazon. We're gonna label the dividers. Oops. 
So let's find one for meal plan or grocery. This one right here says menus, so I will use it. So we'll stick that divider right there. And then this divider is this one right here. We're gonna put where I put these ones at so I can get to them easier. And to label that one, let's use the ones on here that have the stars. I was trying to look for one that was like, there's one that says notes, but I think I wanna save it for something else. And then, there was something else that I seen. Inspiration, I thought about doing that one, but I think I'm just gonna leave it for the stars. Leave it for the stars, so we'll put the stars up here, and that'll be very crooked. <laughs> we can't, can't be doing that, no crookedness. At least not that crooked anyways. Okay, that's a little better. Okay, so that'll go there, and then I know that that is where my dot grid pages are if I want to create a boho spread. And then I'm gonna add this divider here is what I will currently use for every single week on the week that I'm on and we're gonna add a tab to it. I'm gonna use the one that says health. And then I have one more divider and we're gonna use it up here. And I'm gonna put it right in between here where my goals are at. This one here says priorities and I like that one. So we're gonna use it for goals. There probably is one here that says goals. Either way, priorities will work because my goals are my priorities. So we'll stick that there and then I'll put this in here. And then we're gonna add the name page in between the vision board and the goal section. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is I have this note paper here. This is from the wellness collection from the Happy Planner and it says, I am perfect as I am. And I'm gonna add some of it back here with the notes part. Actually, I put it under menus, didn't I? Huh, I wonder if I should make another section in between like menu planning and where the notes thing are because I was thinking about too having this to where I can journal, I can document things, I can write down the wins that I'm having because focusing on the small wins are important. And I thought about using those for that, but I think I can just stick them in there. I think that'll be fine. I really don't wanna add another divider if I don't have to. So I'm just gonna add a small stack of these in there. All right, I think that is honestly going to be my wellness planner. So let's take a quick little flip through of it. And if I remember correctly, the back cover on this never wants to close right. <laughs> it closes, it's just kind of a pain in the butt to do. So when we open it up, the first thing we have is my vision board, which I love. Then we have the name page, and I need to put my name here, but my handwriting's not that good, so I will probably end up ordering my name from Etsy, and then I'll put the sticker of it there. And then from there, we have my goals section, and this is where I will plan out my top three goals, health and fitness goals for 2021. And then over here, I will probably write down a little bit about each one in this little section. And then from there, what I'm thinking about doing with this section is using it as a place to track my progress. So I thought about taking a before photo in January and putting it over here and then taking an after photo in December of next year and putting it over here and then potentially using some smaller pictures throughout the rest of the space to track my progress throughout the year. So I think that might be what I do with this one so I can actually see how far I've come. 
And then we have my weight tracker, which you know what? Let's actually take this one and put it here. I think that would be a better place for it. Okay, so I have my weight tracker there. And then we'll do the progress board. And then my um, habit trackers. Now my habit trackers, I will put these into their respective weeks whenever I get to that week. But I have January, I have February. I need to make one for March because my goal was to set my planner up for a quarter at a time. So I will sit down and make another habit tracker for March. Uh, but I'm just gonna leave both of those there for now and I'll use them when it's time. And then I have December in here. So we can finish out this year, continuing on the journey. My current habit tracker. And then from there is whenever we will move into the wellness planner. Now for the wellness planner, I'm not for sure yet what I'm gonna use the monthly section for, but I really like the weekly pages because uh, on weeks that I'm really busy or don't have a lot of time to sit down and create my own spreads, that's when this will come into play. So I will either hop back here and grab one of these dot grid pages and stick them in here, or I will use a wellness one. So we'll see, I might actually start January out with the wellness one just to give it a go. Cause I really do like this layout and it's really functional and you can actually put a lot of information here. So you have like intention, nourish, movement, take note, and then there's prompts for each day for a little bit of journaling. Up here it says weekly check-ins. You can put I'm filling and because. So I do like this layout a lot. I think the colors in here are really, really pretty, but I don't know, might use it for the entire month of January, might just flip flop back and forth between this layout and creating my own. But either way, we have January in here, we have February, and there is March. And then for March, this is where I have the dot grid paper for my boho section. And then it goes back here to where I can meal plan each week, make my grocery list and all of that. And then from there, we have some extra note paper where I can journal or take notes or whatever it is that I'm doing. So all of that is there. And then from there, we have the folder and these are the stickers that come with it. So I'm gonna leave those back here and there. And then that is it, you guys. I am so excited to have this thing all set up, ready to go. I'm excited to be using this deluxe cover again. I really love this quilted look on it. It's really classic, really, really pretty. I've had this for a while now and I've used it on and off and it really does hold up and it's really sturdy and really good. So I am excited for this. The other thing though, I just now thought about this. I need a pen loop. This is a container from Ikea and I keep my pen loops uh, from the Happy Planner stuck to this one. That way anytime I need them, I just pull them off there. So we're gonna add a pen loop to it too so I can keep a pen in here. And this will stick inside of here. Actually, let's move it in just a little bit more. I may have to add a little bit more adhesive to it where I've taken it in and out, but I think that'll work. And then let's go ahead and we'll stick a pen down through there. Oh, it needs to go in further, doesn't it? Definitely needs to go in further. So about there. Perfect. All right, it is all set up, ready to go. I'm really pumped for this. Now listen, I also have a video up of how I'm setting up my catch-all planner and my social media planner, and those two are going together sort of, it's all being frank and planned. And I will link to that video down below in the description box if you wanna check it out. And then if you wanna see every planner that I'm using for 2021, I will have my 2021 planner lineup video linked down below as well, so you can check that video out too. And if you haven't, please hit that subscribe button. Have an incredible day, my friend, and I will see you in the next video.